Hello, everyone, and welcome to Making the Show. I'm Timothy, I'm a video producer, and on the journey of making a world-class tabletop web series. This is one of the short episodes. This is one of the new ones for Making the Show, because I really want to release more of these than one a month. You may find there's a little bit more echo in the room right now. That's because we're getting the rug in the room finally cleaned. We've had this rug since Brooklyn, Brooklyn Quarter, and it started to stink. So we're getting it professionally clean. I'm very excited. I walk on this rug every day, so it's, it's a huge benefit. Plus with the show coming up, I just want a nice clean environment for all the cast. Also at long last, we finally have enough auto poles to get the grid up. We're gonna be using the grid to hang the microphones and the lights out of the way so that they're not taking up floor space in here. The auto poles were really delayed. I ordered them back in March and it's now September of 2021 when I'm finally able to get them installed properly. It's a whole lot of measuring, going back and forth, making sure the measurements are accurate. And then it's a matter of using the spirit level that's designed specifically for the auto poles to make sure that they're, they're straight up and down. And then when you're done, they just ratchet into place. A thing that's really important about the auto poles, by the way, is that they will leave a mark on the ceiling and the floor if you just use them right out of the box. I know this from a bad past experience. It actually says that in the instruction manual, the suction cups may leave marks on floors and ceilings they are secured to. That is true. So the way I get around that is I use an industrial felt that's designed for not transferring oil or spills, things like that. It, it doesn't mar any surface that it's on. So I attach them to the feet and the top head gasket cup. And I haven't found that it's affected the clinginess of the pole. It feels just as secure as it's always been. It's also a nice peace of mind that I'm not doing anything that's gonna leave a mark. This felt is also very, very hard to cut. So I need to use a very sharp edge. So I'm snapping off a fresh one on this Ulfa knife. And that's it for this episode. I just wanted to keep you up to date on what's happening with the studio as we prep for the new show coming up. And also a huge thank you to our patrons on Patreon. Your support makes a world of difference. Thank you to everyone who supports this channel. If you're interested in supporting us, you can head over to patreon.com slash Brooklyn Quarter, where we have some fun tiers for you to be involved with. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your week whenever you're watching this, either now or many months or years from now. And I will see you on the next Making the Show.